Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. American actor Patrick Duffy is famous for portraying Bobby Ewing on the CBS soap opera Dallas. In 1987 he suffered tragedy after losing his parents in a robbery. Patrick Duffy is a name that is well known in Hollywood. His recognition is due to his starring role on the CBS series Dallas from 1978 to 85 and 1986 to 91. Patrick reprised his role as Bobby in the continuation of Dallas that aired on TNT from 2012 to 2014. He's also known for playing Frank Lambert on the ABC sitcom Step by Step from 1991 to 98. Other famous shows he starred in include The Bold and the Beautiful from 2006 to 2011 and the 2014 NBC sitcom Welcome to Sweden in which he played the lead character's dad. While it is undeniable that Patrick has enjoyed a successful career, he has suffered tragedy in his life. In 1987 he became an orphan after losing his parents in a robbery. In the years that followed Patrick learned how to deal with his loss and excel in his career. Find out how the tragedy happened, his reaction and his personal life. November 18th, 1986 is a date that Patrick might never forget. It was the day the actor lost his parents, Terence and Marie Duffy, who were killed by shotgun blasts at their tavern in Boulder, Montana. Terence and Marie were killed by two young men arrested after a girlfriend's tip and a high-speed chase. Later, they were identified as Kenneth Muller and Sean Wentz. The killings were motivated by robbery. Police recovered a shotgun used in perpetuating the crime along with money allegedly taken from the bar. After hearing about his parents' death, Patrick flew from Los Angeles to Montana. Producers shut down the Dallas shoot in the morning, but he urged the crew to resume in the afternoon. The series' executive producer, Leonard Katzman, expressed concern over him. Terence and Marie's killers, Wentz and Miller, were 19 and were both charged with two counts of deliberate homicide. Later, they were convicted of the murders and sentenced to 75 years in prison. In December 2007, Miller was released on parole while Wentz, who pulled the trigger, remained in prison. Rossa and Patrick remained married until she died of cancer in 2017. However, he has continued practising Buddhism since she died. In a chat with people, he said of the religion, That has been essential in my life for the last 48 years. I apply those lessons, hopefully from the time I wake up. Even if I'm by myself, I try. Patrick drove to Pearl's doorstep to see if his feelings were real and they've been inseparable ever since. That has said he knew Rosser would want him to find joy. He said, I feel quite honestly that it is keeping with the desires of my wife, the fact that we are intended to be happy. So when it's offered, think about it, do whatever you do, but don't let it pass you up if it's the right thing. After losing his parents many years ago and becoming a widower after a 48 year marriage, it's great to see Patrick happy and in love once again. Thanks for listening. Please like, comment and subscribe.